Hey folks, this is Johnny. Welcome to another Home Studio Trainer Show. And uh, this is a re-upload from yesterday's uploads because of my uh, camera issues. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at the audio device controls uh, that are options with many of the Personas interfaces and a few third-party basics. Uh, so we're actually going to go ahead and go through those. If you guys could, I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're over on rumble hit the follow button and if you could there is a link in the description uh for patreon if you'd like to support me over there my voice is a little weird today it's uh going up and down all on its own so i hope it's not too distracting all right so if you look here in this song you can see that i have some extra things here that some of you might not see on your studio one uh the first one is this little orange icon here which a lot of people get confused about all right and you can see the options over here now if you do not have a personas interface or you have a personas interface like an audio box your setup is going to look like this so there's no options here and that little orange icon is gone and i'll explain that here in a second all right so if you have uh, one of the quantum uh interfaces uh, from uh, personas or something like the 1824 the 1810 you have the option to click on this little wrench and put a check mark next to audio device controls if you click on that you'll get the aforementioned options with this little icon and with these options here all right, so uh, the big thing is this one. This one distracts a lot of people. Now, what this is going to do, let me actually zoom in here. This is going to give you the ability to restore your audio device settings. So if you said something up differently in your song, this is going to tell you that the settings in your interface and the settings in your song are different. So what you can do is you can click on this to restore the settings in your audio device. This is really handy if you're getting songs from other people uh, that work in Studio One and open them up and when you open them up in Studio One, it changes a lot of your settings. So this is a really good option to be able to reset your interface if you need to. All right, so now the options over here. All right, so these are your headphone options. Now, these are direct connections to your interface. This is so that you don't have to go to your interface every time to make some of these changes. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll start at the bottom here. So this is basically for your speaker setup. If you're using multiple sets of speakers, you can determine which speakers that you want to actually monitor out of right here without going to the interface. If you're working in a loud studio and you want to mute or dim the interface, let's say a song is playing back and the guitarist wants to say something you can mute or dim the actual interface from here all right so up at the top this is going to give you the ability to choose many different outputs for your headphones so uh, most of the most of the larger personas interfaces they're going to have the ability to have two headphone outs and you can assign them here headphone source one and headphone source uh, headphone two source so this gives you the ability to do a lot of these changes and of course this is for your main outs so if you have headphone amps hooked up all right so now the other thing that this does if i pull this up a little bit here all right, boom, there they are. So now what this is, these are the actual input plugs or the uh, preamps uh, that are on your interface. This gives you the ability to digitally manipulate from here anything you have plugged into your interface. Let's get a little bit of a closer look. There we go. So you can choose everything uh, from the high pass filter to the phantom power. Uh, to the auto gain if you like and then the pad settings these are really nice to have so a good condition for something like this would be if you're recording a band and you got the drums all set up you don't have to go to the interface itself to set up all your input gains this really gives you a huge amount of options 
keep from having to run back and forth to your audio interface. So those are the options that are available now. I don't have a list of all of the third-party interfaces that allow this option. So there you go. So you have the option to reset your audio device. You have the option to adjust all of your preamps on a lot of the settings uh, that go along with that. And you have the option to control your outputs and a lot of your control room settings right from Studio One. All right. I hope that that was helpful. If you guys could, I would really appreciate it. If you want to help support what I do, I have an Amazon pick. It is the Personas PD70 mic. It's only $97.99, and it is the mic that I use. It is the mic that I'm on right now. In fact, I use it for recording all of my guitars and all of my vocals and everything that I need uh, in my little home studio. So there you go. If you guys could follow that link, I'd appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video.